you could slow down or even prevent heart disease with a simple vaccine. Coming up, new research that could help experts fight this potentially deadly condition. Jimmy, thank you. Well, I am joined here this morning uh, by Klaus Lay with the La Jolla Institute for Allergy and Immunology to talk about a little bit about a, a vaccine you created. Uh, to prevent heart disease. Now, you know, we, we all know that it's the, heart disease is the number one killer of men and women with about 600,000 deaths a year. Tell me, what prompted you? How long ago did you start working on this vaccine? We've been working on this for about three years. And um, uh, this, uh, uh, ca the, the cause of the heart disease is really plaque buildup in the arteries. So both heart disease and strokes are caused by plaque buildup. Uh, now, most people know that cholesterol is an important part um, of the plaque buildup. In addition, inflammation plays an important role, and the vaccination targets the inflammation part. So, normally people with high cholesterol, they're using those statin drugs. This, is, this could be like a one-two punch if, if this vaccine actually went through human trials and were approved, correct? Right. Uh, that would likely work in addition to the statins. We don't have data for that yet, but very likely it's a different principle and you could use the vaccine on, on top of the statins. Well, tell us a little bit how it works. I think we have some photos um, of some of the trials of some mice. If we have those on hand, explain the difference here of, of these, these arteries. So on the left you see an artery of a mouse and in red you see the plaque. This is the buildup that would eventually cause a heart attack or in this case a stroke. On the right uh, the same artery from a vaccinated mouse and you see there's still some plaque buildup but it's only half as much. So we see about a 50% reduction in plaque buildup. Would this be f to somebody who was predisposed to heart attacks? Would you have to do this when you were really young? I mean what, 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 are, what are the early indicators here? So the data we have right now indicate that prevention works. In other words, when we vaccinate first and then let the atherosclerotic process progress, we see this reduction in heart disease and stroke and plaque buildup. Uh, we don't have, don't have data yet uh, whether this would cause um, the heart, uh, heart disease and plaque buildup to stop once it has already started. We think it might, but we don't have that data yet. Now, is this something that you'd have to start early on in life or something? Could it, you use this vaccine after someone has been kind of predisposed to things like refined sugars and processed foods and obesity and things like that? It might well be possible that a vaccination could happen both as a preventative but also to stop um, the plaque buildup once it has started. We don't have those data yet and that will depend on clinical trials. And how promising is this? I mean, you're saying that it could be going to human trials. How soon? We hope to be in uh, human trials in three years from now. And you know this process, what can, does it take a village? Is, I mean, how many people are working on this? So it is a team and um, it is also a collaboration, a very important collaboration with Dr. Alex Sete in the Institute who is a vaccination specialist. And uh, we couldn't do this without his expertise in developing the actual peptides that, that are in the vaccine. I mean, and what prompted you? Was there a personal motivation for de trying to develop this vaccine to battle heart disease? So we saw in earlier um, uh, experimental atherosclerosis, which is the plaque buildup disease, we saw that um, antigen presentation was happening in the blood vessel wall. And so that prompted us to, to start to develop a vaccine because uh, once you see this process happening, there's a chance that you could modify it by vaccination. Well, this is really promising news and we wish you luck with your studies again. Heart disease is the number one killer. One in every four people die from heart disease. So what you are studying, what the potential there is, is just unimaginable and we really wish you luck with that Dr. Klausley thank you so thank much you, Laura. really appreciate it and uh, we will be right back